Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Alone in the Dark, The New Nightmare. We got a lot done as Aline, and most of it was not done as Carnby, which is pretty great. So, we need to advance. We have recently acquired this glass prism, and it would pay to make use of it. Now, I know where I ultimately want to go, but I'm going to make a little bit of a stop first. Technically, this is optional if you're using a guide, but it's really not if you're not. Scary monster here, not my problem. We're back in the office. And I'm going to use this. A strange machine equipped with a lens. It looks like a projector. I'll use the glass prism on it. Huh? A crystal is positioned inside. I'm pressing the wrong button. There we go. I might need to turn the lights off for this to make sense. Well, damn. There's the jump scare that we never got. I'm going to actually try using my flashlight from the menu. I don't know how you figure that out. Why did you try and stop me in my path, Father? You mustn't struggle against your fate. But you won't have died in vain. Your body is about to experience a new birth. The darkness blending into your blood will make you a stronger being. You will be faster. You will be a complete being. Oh, marvelously complete. First injection. Farewell, Father. Second injection. Welcome, new man. Incredible. Creepy. We have an engraved cube. That's some puzzle. The flashlight becomes the light for the projector. Engraved cube. It is engraved library 3D map. What? However, you see this? One. I'm trying to rotate it a different way. You can barely see it. One, nine, nine again. One. You can barely read it, but it's 1991. That was all for a clue, but I don't need to be here unless there's a way downstairs from that floor. I think there might be, actually, but I want to go to the library. That's the library map. I want to go to the library. You know what? We know what the clue is, we know it's 1991. <laughs> Somehow I skipped the first guy and not the second. Anyway, I came into the library from the other way. Not cool. But I guess the library's just been unlocked. Maybe Carnby's already been here? I'll get information should I need it. That's the diary. And this is the epic family history. So I should have that now. Yeah, family's biography, we're good. Okay, the Abcanus Tablets translation, I think, was that thing that I got from the mirror last time. Now, now that we've done that, what if I actually look 
in the bookcases. I never really did this as Carnby. Why can't I just take the books? Okay, here's something. So this is the 1991. So we actually have different puzzles from Edward. Check that out, a whole other secret. And here they are. Abcanis tablets, two first aid kits, another charm of saving. I am at caution, let's take care of that. Otherwise... Three carved bark tablets bearing engraved Abcanis characters. Yeah, wow, it's tree bark. And now, we did have a boss fight as Edward in this library, so... Do you want to pull this lever? Yeah. Check that out. The freaking tyrant. It's beautiful, isn't it? This is the tyrant. Is this the father? All right, it begins. I'm trying to do an Alan Morton where I let him just take a swing at me and then go for it. Tag me once, but... Got him. Guess he dropped that. Feels nice to be able to actually reload my grenade launcher. You take a half medallion. A bronze medallion representing a half-sun. Yeah, we're actually going this way. <laughs> All the way around. See, isn't this great? Edward has been here. He had his boss fight before I had my boss fight. I guess he politely turned the lights off after he left, which I do not advise in this particular game. Two boxes of phosphorus cartridges. Otherwise, I think that's it. And he got one of the statues that was in here, I believe. Still going up. I'll go ahead and save again. Boss fight and everything. Crazy bird monster is not my problem. I guess the dogs aren't my problem. Did Edward take care of those? Box of grenades. That's why I came here. Goodbye. I wanted more grenades. I now have 32. I actually have a little bit more than I started with. Bad news, I have to go all the way out of the library.
It's a tedious trip, but again, this has been a lot less combat intensive than Edwards has been. I have absolutely had to fight one enemy in this game, and it was a boss. And I fired my pistol or uh, revolver twice, and it was at a mirror. That must mean something to Lucy Morton. This game is too kind, I gotta say. I need you one last time. I knew you would be back. Were you able to speak with Obed? Not yet, but I know now that he's alive for sure. I've gotta tell you, your sons are monsters. Oh no. The true monster is this island. You must know. Tonight is a special night. As for me, I shall let myself be carried away. I shall let myself slip away. I've, I've had enough and wish to rest now. Save your soul. I'm gonna try and save my body first. But I can't find a way out of this place. I only have one half of the medallion. I know not how you came about it. Half medallion. May I ask you one last thing? Go ahead. Your son, Obed. Did he ever talk to you about... I mean, did he ever tell you he had a child? A daughter? Obed, a child? But with, with whom? Obed was never interested in anything apart from his accursed Indians. Obed burned his life away in the flames of a pernicious passion. And yet, how could it have been otherwise? But why such a question? For no reason. No reason at all. Don't worry. I'll bring him back to you. Don't worry. No, you shall do no such thing. I am to die, and you are to live. Such are our fates. Opposite, yet intertwined. Now go in peace. you set him free. Oh, thank you, young lady. Uh, good news, I already did set him free. I'm pretty sure that was Howard. Are you, what? Okay. <laughs> That's actually scary. Anyway, I wish to go to the lobby. Let's see if I can do that. Can I do it from this second floor, or do I have to go through the two zombies? Because I can definitely go through the two zombies. I'll actually save again just for uh, the ability to check. I know there's a monster here, but... What if I do go all the way to the other side? What if I do? Of course I go the one way I shouldn't go. Was that the stairs? Two of these are stairs. Oh, okay. Well, I'm in the lobby. I did it. Okay, first floor. One of the mirror's ornaments is missing. Yeah, I can go in this way. Edward came into the mansion from this way, but I can go out from this way? Oh yeah, half medallion. A circular bronze medallion. Hey, bronze sun, made from two medallions. Let's actually use it. You insert the medallion. I'm in.
Remember this place? It's empty. I don't get a crazy vision of myself dead. You remember this place? This was beginning and end game for Edward. You used the Allen wrench to unlock the trap door. That's how it was inexplicably open when Edward came back later. And now we're in the greenhouse on disc one. Cutscene immediately. I know you have a statue. There are still six missing. I don't understand why you never did something before. You could have prevented this whole nightmare. I am but a man. You have no idea what this ritual is for me. But time is running short. I know Alan is getting ready to open the gate, and that will unleash a true flood. You know I want to help. If I'm going to die, let's at least make it worthwhile. So give me a hint before you vanish again. Go to the fort. That is the Morton's true place. That is where you shall unveil the secrets of the island. And he's out. Fortunately, there are no enemies for Aline. Grenades! I never came here as I were. I wonder if there was anything. Just plain old packaging for gardening equipment. This is of no interest. Okay. There is the giant ladder here, but that only existed for Edward to knock over a statue, so I don't care about that. I'm gonna go this way. This, I think, is an entirely new area. Ooh, wow, which way? Goodness, Mr. X? That's actually scary. My god. And now he's really just loping after me. There's a dog here. This place is huge. I'm in a cemetery now? Annoying. I, hmm. I do have a lot of grenades, but, uh... Remember, I did hit the other dog with a grenade. Okay, that was annoying. Maybe I'll stick with the grenade launcher. Even the... Well, I do have a lot of phosphorus cartridges. I probably should have used that. What was I looking at? Didn't you see a sparkle? Is there a reason I can't pick it up? It'd be a shame to have to abandon that. I will take the box of grenades. Is there anything if I go all the way into the dead end? You know what? Not my problem. Not my freaking problem. God damn. Again, great scare. And now I got the dog too. This is crazy. Jeez. This game is not messing around. 
crypt? Oh, good. You can barely read it, but that says Archibald. Yeah, Archibald Morton. Seems to be sealed up for good. Richard? Nope. Howard? Doesn't pair a name. Yes, it does. I can read it from here. And this is Jeremy. Ho ho! Box of rockets and a rocket launcher pistol. Damn! Two first aid kits. Charm of saving. Well, at least I could take that one. A small metallic object is laying on the casket. Should be lying. There is an engraved plate. Only a symbol of light will open the tomb. Metal cover. Well, this time I know, right? A metal cover with a square hole. The two lateral clips make it possible to fix it to a cylindrical support. Flashlight with cover. Equip the metal cover, it says. Also, I'll heal. Now check this out. Oh, that's what it is. I have to actually shine my light on these things in order. So this is tricky. This could be very annoying, actually. One, two, three. Ugh. Using the mouse. Oh, I can use the mouse? Wait, really? How do I use the mouse? Oh, no way. All right, this will this will make things easier. Okay, there. That's cool. And we're making an M for Morton. Oh, that's clever. This whole time I didn't know I could use the mouse. And now... Let's go back to Richard Morton. All right. Richard Morton shut me in here. A curse on him and all his family. I am going to die here and I'm afraid. S. Gibson. That's brutal. And it looks like I have a long way to go out of here. Let's do our best. One hit is acceptable. Do you want to go over the outcrop? Yeah. Did you see that little flicker of text for just one second? We just changed discs. Welcome to disc two. And welcome to the forest. Oh boy. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, for now, it is time to stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We discovered a unique boss. We discovered that we can actually reload our grenade launcher, and we discovered entirely new areas in the game, with context of Edward having even been to the old areas. This really is a separate experience, and I'm very much enjoying this. We've made it to disc two. Let's see what it holds in store for us. Until next time, everyone.